Okay, now the area of a triangle. Remember, area, again, is the area inside of the box or whatever shape you are measuring. Perimeter is the, the distance around the box, okay? So area of a triangle is kind of complicated, but not really, because this, look at this triangle right here. Do you see the orange triangle? There's also a white triangle. Those two are like a mirror image, right? We could take this and flip it over to the side and they would be the same. Or if we took this piece of paper and just folded it in half, it makes a triangle, right? Okay, so you're going to take and find the measurement of the area of the box or the rectangle and then take half of it. See how easy that is? Okay, easy peasy. So, get your pencil out. Number one, this is page 255. It says to write an equation to find the area of the colored part. So you can easily see that colored triangle, right? Okay, but the rectangle is five times two. It's this, these two lines are five yards, these two lines are two yards. So the area of the rectangle is five times two, write an equation. So we're gonna write five times two equals 10 square yards, okay? but it's only half of the rectangle, so the area of the triangle would be 10 yards divided in half. So it would be five square yards. Do you see how easy that is? It's so easy, I'm gonna double check and make sure I did it right. Yes, that is right. It's so easy, it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so yeah, yeah. Yeah, sing that song, try to get that song out of your head now. If you don't know it, you're be blessed to not have that stuck in your head now, because now I will for the next day or two. It's so easy, it's so easy, it's so yeah, yeah, it's so easy, okay. <laughs> so I'm only going to do one more of these with you, and I'm going to let you do the it's so easy parts, okay? So three times two, so write the equation, we did that in the last chapter, three times two equals... Please tell me you know this. Six, even in quarantine or stay at home, hopefully you haven't forgotten your math facts. That's why I put some practice websites on our classroom. If you get rusty, you better keep up with it or you won't like math if you can't remember how to do the easy, the easy parts, the multiplication. Okay, so six centimeters is the area of the rectangle and the triangle is half of that. So half of the rectangle area is six divided in half would be three square centimeters. That's a small one. Okay. I said I would make you do the rest, but I'll, is there just one more? Yeah. I'll do the front row. I'll do the top row and let you do the bottom. Okay. Cause it's so much fun. I can't stop myself. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eight times seven. 8 inches times 7 inches equals 56 square inches. Can you see that or did it go off the page? There it is. And then half of 56, oh boy. Can you do that one in your head? I can hear Luke and my real trying to say it really fast. Who else is it? Who else do I have that's always trying to say things fast? Vincent, Evan, Demetrius. What is it? I'm giving you time to think. Okay, let me make you think about this. What's half of 50? You got 50 cents. What two coins do you have that make 50 cents? Two quarters. How much is a quarter? 25. So half of just the 50 is 25. Okay, that's the 50. Now how much is just the six? It's half of six. Three. So add those together. 25 plus three is? 28 square inches. Easy. Da, 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 da. So easy. It's so easy. It's so yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to do the easy rest of them. Four, five, and six. Oh, look at that. Number five, they snuck in a rectangle. That's not a triangle, so don't do they're, they're They're counting on you doing half of that right here because we're used to doing half to find the triangle. Don't let them trick you like that. There's a triangle, there's a triangle. You're gonna put those in half, but this one, don't break it in half because it's the whole enchilada. Right, Gael? The whole enchilada, mucho enchilada. Bueno, bueno. 
Okay. <clears throat> then. Oh, that made me hungry. Now I want to go to Gail's restaurant and get a mucho enchilada. I love enchiladas. I may have to go and get one now. All right. Write an equation to find the area of the colored part. Okay. So we're doing the exact same thing, only this one again. They're going to try to trick you. Only, and they didn't give you the same number of lines, so they're helping you a little bit, but only give the whole enchilada there, the whole area there, and half of these, okay? You know how to do those. You can finish that out. Then it says, explain why the area of a triangle is half the area of the recta related rectangle. I want to see what you guys come up with on that. Why are we dividing it in half? Okay, just explain it very simply. Then it says to write an equation to find the areas. This is what we did yesterday, okay? So remember when you have... Do you remember what kind of um, area we have this on this? It's called a complex area because we have more than one shape there. So you need to do this rectangle and this rectangle. And remember how you can find this line? It's eight, it's this line plus this line. So this one would be what? 12, this one's 12 yards. Actually though, I don't think you even need to know that though because this one's eight, this one's two, that's that box. This one's four and this one's six. So actually you don't even need to know that. Okay, so write two equations. And actually, I wonder if they did something a little different than I did. No, it doesn't show. But what you could do is um, two times eight plus four times six. That's what we should have written for our equation equals what? Okay, so then you figure out what 2 times 8 is, and you write that number right here, and then you figure out what that is, and add that number there, and that gives you how many square yards. Okay, there I gave you the how to work that one out. So actually, should we go back and redo those? Because I did those wrong. The book doesn't show us, but really, either way is fine. We did them. We just did them separately. But remember, you can do them separately if you put them in parentheses and then add them together that way. That's really the right way to do it. Okay? Not going to show you on this one. But you've got this rectangle, and you've got that little rectangle. And you've got to write an equation. You can either write them separately like we did yesterday, I think it was, or you can write them like this with parentheses. Your choice. Okay, then we're going to... Re review some circles. It says Maya is making paper circles for a craft project. She's putting lace around each circle. Estimate the circumference of the circle to determine the amount of lace she needs. The diameter of each circle is six inches. Remember circumference is like perimeter. It's the area around. Okay? And the diameter, remember diameter is like two, two, so here's my head in the center of the circle, and here's my radius and radius, and the two radiuses together make a diameter, okay? The diameter is six, and remember we're supposed to do, it says about how much. When it says about how much, we get to estimate, right? Yay! And what was um, that funny little weird little, um, I can't think of what you want to call it, the little math fact that we learned a couple days ago with with a circle. A circle, what shape is a pie usually in? A circle. So remember the little pie and it had this funny little, like a little table. And do you remember what it equaled? It's the circle radius, um, I don't know, circumference little thingy. It equaled 3.14. So normally we would do 3.14 times the diameter but since we do about how much, we don't have to do the 0.14. We can just do the easy part to do in your brain. So we can estimate, okay? So it's going to be 6 times 3, which equals what? Hope you know. 18, what was it? The number of... Does it tell us? Oh, right here, inches. I can't find it. 18 inches. Is that square inches? If she's going to put the lace around the edge of 
whatever she's doing. There's the lace. Is that the area? No, that's the distance around. So that's not square units, okay? If we were measuring this part inside, that's the area. That's when we would use square inches, okay? If you going around the edge, it's perimeter or circumference with a circle. Okay, and then it says 14. About how much lace does she need to go around five circles? Okay, so this was one circle. So now we need an equation to do five circles. How will we do that? I think, who have I not mentioned lately? Elijah, I bet Elijah knows. What is it, Elijah? Say it real loud. 18 times five, good job, Elijah. 18 times five is what? Eighteen times five is ninety. Ninety what? Ninety inches. She needs ninety inches to be able to have enough lace to go all the way around. All right. Then it says, "Oh, what's that got to?" Oh, the whole this whole book has things to do. What you probably noticed, the things to do with air uh, being a pilot. And so this is just a fun little fact. The luggage on passenger planes is put into specially shaped containers that fit into the cargo hold of the plane. So they make it exactly the right shape, I guess, so they can get all of it in there in the little shape that's in there. So they're using geometry right there every day. All right, that's everything. See you tomorrow.